Are there evil spirits today? The Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the Ephesians in chapter 6, verse 12. He said this, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. There are a lot of folks sitting in pews in the American church that don't think that evil spirits really exist. They read or hear about the accounts of demonic possession in the Bible and they think, oh, it never happened or that was just the result of faulty medical diagnosis. Or, you know, it only happens in ancient primitive cultures. But usually this belief is not thought out or certainly not argued out. It's just a result of living in a modern culture. Somehow we've managed to get to the point where we really don't believe that we're in a spiritual battle. And even when we use that term, really all we're talking about is maybe battling our temptations. Don't eat that cookie, it'll make you fat. But the Bible is clear. There are spiritual forces at work in the universe and they are not all good. Jesus recognized this and taught about this. He struggled with Satan in the wilderness at the beginning of his ministry. He told us that the devil comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. He cast out demonic spirits out of multitudes. He knew that there was a great spiritual battle for the souls of men. I read an article from the Miami Herald Tribune about a man by the name of Gilando. He was a man who was controlled by demons. As a teenager, he kept a black cauldron filled with hatchets and knives, all tools he used to sacrifice animals for his religion. He once told a detective that he had an insatiable desire to eat human flesh. And from his childhood, he had been tormented by the evil spirits. And one evil spirit that he named Candelo finally led him to murder. Was he crazy? Was he brain sick, as some might call it? No, he was possessed. He was living out in dramatic fashion what we see in, recorded in the scriptures. Well, maybe he just needed to get some religion. Well, he had religion. He practiced the religion of Santiera, described as a blend of African traditional religions and Roman Catholicism. Not all religions are the same all but one enslave you to false beliefs and false practices. Only one leads you into the kingdom of heaven. All the others lead you to hell, both in this life and in the next. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Everyone is going to practice some kind of faith. And I just pray that you'll follow Jesus and find the heavenly Father before the father of lies destroys you. Evil spirits are at work in this world, but be of good cheer, as Jesus said, for he has overcome the world. This is Pastor John. Christ is still king. God bless you. Amen.